Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. A recent UN report concludes that the global digital divide is significant even though it is slowly closing. As ICT is a major contributor to economic growth, emerging economies are doing their best to increase technological literacy. Believe it or not, even though people all over the world would have smartphones, some people still don't have access to TV, which is a good source of information and education. But as we see in this report from India, community radio can help bridge the gap. Here in the north of India, at this community radio station, Sorab is broadcasting live. The program is a lively mix of education and entertainment based on Gali Gali Sim Sim, the Indian equivalent of Sesame Street. Whole families and communities listen to the program together. And the contents often provoke lively debate. This is the first time the people here have had a chance to listen to a program like this. There are no televisions here, so people have very few opportunities to watch programs or films or even listen to radio. The program is so popular that it's even used in schools as a teaching support. I listen to the program every day with my sister, my brother and the entire family together. I learnt when I get home from school I must help my mother, I must respect my elders. If I meet an elder on the road, I must greet them. Gali Gali Sim Sim is part of a radiophone project which aims to bridge the education gap between rural India where the majority of people live and cities. Children engage with, uh, an, an, with, with content in a way that maybe adults don't. When they are listening uh, to the Gali Gali Sim Sim radio program, they are actually listening to um, some girl called Chamki, you know, without any visual, and they are creating their own imaginary characters. While they are listening, they are learning, and they don't even know that they are learning. Community radio is a very powerful medium to not just reach communities, but also connect communities. On air since 2011, the program has already reached more than 1.4 million people. Ecuador has one of the largest economies in Latin America thanks to its agricultural and oil sectors. But now, young professionals are increasingly looking to information technology. At one university, e-learning tools are helping students to compete at a global level. The population of Rio Bamba in Ecuador is around 200,000 and the local economy relies mainly on agriculture. In one school here, they've integrated online e-learning tools into the classroom. We've been using multimedia since 2000 when it all began. We started talking about e-learning, then we developed software and now we deliver education through virtual classrooms. Eduardo Villa says for e-learning to work, teachers have to embrace it, computer labs have to be available and both teachers and students have to harness their creativity. Professor Villa believes in e-learning so passionately that he gives classes for free. Students use the internet and have access to software like exam time, which helps them put material into a learning context, 
create mind maps and self-assess. Those tools like these make it easy to organize students' work and they give teachers the opportunity of contacting other independent working groups. What I like about this type of tool is that it's easy to use and draws students and teachers closer together. Therefore, distance is no longer an obstacle. They can be anywhere and we can work together. We can continue with the class without having the teacher actually in the classroom. Another advantage is that students' work is always available online, which allows for collaboration. Many of us remember our grandparents reading storybooks to us. But these days they are just as likely to be found surfing the web, contributing to forums and emailing their friends. You think I'm exaggerating? Well, have a look at this next report. Here in Costa Rica, for her 17 grandchildren and six great-grandchildren, Miss Sirocco is the family go-to resource when it comes to computing. But it wasn't always this way. <laughs> I was scared of the computer. I used to panic about the mere idea of touching it in case I broke it. But the teacher gave me a lot of confidence and I decided to apply myself. If you saw with how much affection they teach you, I never thought I'd make it. But I went on step by step until the course was finished. She learned at the Intelligent Community Center of Cañas, one of 256 labs spread across Costa Rica. Here, adult learners are taught how to use a word processing program, surf the internet, and even how to build websites. I like writing because then I can write whatever I want. And also I like discovering different parts of Costa Rica that I didn't know. I see the rivers, the mountains. It's so beautiful. Every year, around 20,000 people gain diplomas at these intelligence centers. Many of the students are from low-income communities, and they get tuition and scholarships from the government in order to obtain a technical degree. We've been working with older people and they learn very fast. Working with young people is more difficult. Because, as there are many who already know some computing, some are more advanced than others. But with seniors, they're all at the same level. What you do with one person, you do with them all. It's a revelation for many adult learners. Realizing that they can use a computer encourages them and then they realize that they can advance even further. In the past, maybe economic or social conditions didn't allow them to continue studying or to use a computer, but through this opportunity, they're empowered. In Costa Rica, the digital divide has closed dramatically with training available across around 70% of the country. Now some feedback from our social media platforms with this interesting tweet. Too often it's a one-way street. Developed nations think they have a know-all. Technology can foster the unique gifts of the human brain. Goodbye for now.
Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.